<sighs> hey people, this is Steve here. So, um, you know, a bit of a different one today. Um, I'm going to talk to you about something that, um, well, something I've had to live with really my entire life, and that is the fact that I'm deaf. Well, not totally deaf, but I've been a deaf person forever. Well, yeah, pretty much my entire life. I went deaf at the age of five and I'm now 32. So today was a bit of a game changer because I went up to the hospital and I got a set of hearing aids, which you can see here. And um, so as it stands now, my hearing is normal. For the first time, to be honest, the first time ever in my life because I can't, you know, I can't remember anything before the age of five, before I went deaf. Um, other than the fact I didn't live in this house. <laughs> I used to live somewhere else. And um, I've had some people asking me, you know, all day, either through, you know, social media or just in person, you know, what's it, what's it like, you know, actually having my hearing back to normal. Um, very, very weird would be the answer to that. I'm hearing a lot of things basically for the first time. Things I didn't know made a noise. <laughs> we live in a very noisy world, I found that out today, I'll tell you. I didn't realise that things that ordinary people take for granted that make sound, you know. I'm talking about things like I didn't realise leaves rolling across the road made a noise folding bits of paper made a noise, breathing made a noise, chewing food made a noise, because I couldn't hear none of this stuff. So um, it's just really, really just strange. Very, very strange. Um, so another thing is, you know, a couple of people have asked me, well, what does music sound like now? You can hear it properly, and right now, Again, it sounds very, very strange, man. Very, very strange. Um, everything just sounds just mad because everything I was listening to that I could hear that I thought sounded good didn't. <laughs> you know, it, so I tried listening to some music earlier and it just sounded all over the place, so I've got to get used to it um, again. But, um, what is this what's this got to do with playing guitar because you know that's why I make these videos at the end of the day and a lot of people ask me well hang on a minute man if you know if you were deaf how did you learn to play guitar you know well the reason is because well because I practiced a lot but again I've had people ask me things like well hang on a minute you know if you can't hear what you're doing how do you how do you practice a guitar if you can't hear it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the way that, that I did it. So I'm gonna grab a guitar. Now, if you, normally, when you know you sit around and play guitar, this guitar isn't plugged in. This is how I do 99% of my practice, especially growing up, being a kid. You know, when I was at school, I didn't have an electric guitar back then. I had an acoustic one, and even when I got one, you know, I wasn't gonna cart an amp around with me everywhere. So a lot of the time, I just play with a guitar not plugged in like this one is now. Well, the problem was, if I'm playing away on some chords. I could never hear anything. But what I discovered was if you put your chin on this part of a guitar, and I'm not just talking lay your chin on it, as if you're leaning on something, put some weight on it like this, and then you play a guitar, it resonates through your skull. And I could hear it. So this is how I practiced guitar for the best part of. 20 years. Um, so that's how I did that. Now, the thing is, man, you know, one of the reasons that kind of drew me to wanting to play play this guitar is, you know, being a deaf guy, especially as a kid growing up, you don't realise, I'll put this down now, you don't realise how much of an impact that it has on your life. And not being funny, why would you? 
you know, because I think people kind of forget. You know, and I'm not having a go. I'm just, I'm just making an observation here. I think people forget that, you know, deafness is a disability, but it's not visual. You can't really tell. At least with me, you can't tell. So, um, yeah, <laughs> someone's making a noise outside. I don't know if you can hear that bark, and I don't know what they're doing. But so the thing is, when you're a deaf kid growing up, you know you could never, you know, I couldn't make friends easy. I couldn't join in with groups because I couldn't. I didn't. I had no idea what was going on. And you know, then people just assume through no fault of your own that you're. A, you're a complete idiot, and you know. I mean, not everybody. Not everybody did, man. You know. I mean, I've got friends out there who understand what I got, and you know, you know who you are, and I know who you are, and that's all that matters. But I mean, the good thing about playing a guitar is I didn't involve any other people. <laughs> you know, I could just do it on my own. And I mean, don't be wrong. I mean, deafness or no deafness, I was going to be a guitar player anyway. I always wanted to be right from you know a very young age um, so yeah that was kind of my my motivation was the fact that I could do it on my own and I didn't need any other people to to, to, to do it and you know I've already talked about how I practiced and you know and I just sort of tried to make the best of a bad situation that I've got now the thing is you know I mean I'm going on about all this stuff and the fact that you know growing up was was quite hard and whatever. I mean, look, look, let me put it to you like this. All right, I'm not making this video because I want sympathy from people. You know, I don't, man. There are so many people out there that have got it way, way worse than me. You know, I get that. I'll proper get that. But for me, playing guitar was what I needed to do just to so basically stop me going mad um, because the you know the the condition I had. It was a disease called cholesteatoma. I won't talk about that. You know you can Google that if you want. Although if you if you haven't got a strong stomach, you probably don't want to. Um, well, it's a very serious disease, um, and if it's left untreated, uh, it can kill you. Um, and you know, I mean, I I was lucky. It didn't kill me, but it could have done had it not have been treated. Um, but what you know, I suppose uh, you know. This is, I'm not going to make this video all negative, but you know, because I'm not, I don't want to. What I want to say is, you know, despite the fact that that I've got the, you know this, you know, and you know, or had you know deafness for many many years, don't let it stop you doing what you want. Don't let it hold you back. Just don't. All right. There's no point, you know. I mean, it never, it never, it never held me back, you know. I was able to, I was able to play guitar, and you know, and I, I'm, I'm able now to make a small sort of living out of it, which is kind of cool, you know. So I feel very fortunate that I'm able to do what I do. So. If you just want something bad enough, you can do it. You know, you can't let something like this stop you. Because, you know, at one point I did nearly let it stop me. You know, several years back, I mean, I really, I came this close to actually packing in music completely. I was going to go and learn how to mend cars. And I hate cars, I'm not interested in cars at all. But I just didn't see the point in carrying on with it. But I didn't do that. And I stuck with it. And now I'm doing what I'm doing. But there you go. So I suppose I'm gonna. I'll, I'll send off by saying that at the moment, you know, because I've had people asking me today, you know, what's it like? What's it like? Right now, it's very, very strange. I mean, it's good, but it's very, very weird. <laughs> and I've got to get used to it. Um, but I will get used to it. You know. It's just going to take time because I've had, well, I haven't been able to hear anything properly for, well, basically my entire life. And I've only had these for a few hours. So at the moment, everything is just, 
very alien and everything's very new. But um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. All right, people, thanks for watching this. Um, you know, I'm grateful that you've watched this and normal service will be resumed very soon. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. <laughs>